to our first sweltering June day here. Good God, June 1st. Kind of the first day, real day of summer of 2023. I count, I don't count June 21st as the first day of summer. I say June 1st, and good God. We are already sweltering up here in paradise. And, uh, New York, baby. So anyway, I am just coming back from uh, the UPS store where I was returning my solar panels. Where I uh, just going Ronald Reagan saying fuck this bullshit with these fucking solar panels, trying to fucking heat up a goddamn 10 by 12 tiny house. Good fucking god, I'm just done with it. Give me the grid. Let global industrial civilization roll on. But anyway, I'm not here to talk about global industrial civilization. Although I think this might be germane to the discussion of the collapse of civilization. So we're going to have another, uh, I don't know if this is fat shaming or not. It's just observation. So I go and I take these damn... Uh, <clears throat> solar panels back to the UPS store in Horseheads, New York. And so I'm ready to get some to eat. So next door we have Nick's Sports Bar and Grill. So I head into Nick's Sports Bar and you know, sit down at the bar, order my uh, what did I get? A chicken Philly cheesesteak. It was quite good. I order my chicken Philly cheesesteak and start paying attention to what these clueless fucking morons at these sports bars are doing. Well, obviously what they're doing is uh, doing what Noam Chomsky calls uh, you know, the, the number one way that the nefarious they uh, keep us all dumbed down to prevent the revolution. And that is professional sports uh, so there's seven screens you, you know behind the bar with various sporting events you know uh, different sports and some men some women and stuff but of course what I was going to be interested in was the uh, I don't know if it's girls or women's softball uh, I decided I would watch this. This is college, uh, college women's softball or college girl. I don't know what you call them anymore. Uh, but 18 to 22 year old females uh, running around in their little spandex pants. I, I mean, these goddamn pants left very little to the imagination. I mean, they they were one step before camel toe. Uh, the, these goddamn pants and so this was they were centering on uh, the University of Tennessee where I think my niece is a graduate of the University of Tennessee and so I guess maybe they just won some sort of big softball tournament so anyway uh, the sound was down so I was just watching these 18 to 22 year old college girls, uh, you know, athletes, college athletes, 18 to 22 years old, uh, running around in their spandex pants, or I guess I should say waddling around, and, and, and I was just floored at, at how fat these goddamn girls were. You know, I admit Babe Ruth was not, did not exactly have the physique of the 20th century, uh, but good fucking God, these are college age athletes uh, engaged in some sort of physical activity, and it looked like uh, I, I was at the, you know, watching the fucking Coney Island hot dog uh, eating championship or something. I, I couldn't believe th these goddamn fat girls. 
uh, running around and they won some fucking tournament. Uh, if they fucking won, uh, like, what the fuck do these other little fatties look like on the other teams? Uh, you know? I mean, how did they ever fucking make it around the bases? <coughs> and I'm just thinking, you know, I, I, watching this shit, <coughs> thinking, my God, I... I am so glad. I guess I was, was I the last generation? You know, I'm 63. So, guys, were, were, were we the last generation where, you know, when we were in college and uh, we were looking for uh, something to get our minds off our studies, shall we say, that... You know, you, you would, back when I was in college, between 78 and 82, when I actually used to have sex with, you know, a fair number of beautiful young 18 to 22 year old girls, uh, they didn't look like this. You know, I, I could imagine that, that I would have a pretty good chance, a pretty good chance of when uh, you know when watching some some little honey some little college girl stripping down uh, that I was going to be treated to the sight of uh, you know someone and maybe with the fucking BMI resembling their age that uh, that that it, it, and and, I, and I, it wasn't exactly like I was banging uh, you know athletes. As far as I know, I never did have sex with a goddamn uh, college female softball player. But you know what I'm saying. Even the, the non-athletes, just the regular 18 to 22-year-old girls. Uh, you, you could expect, uh, well, at least the majority of times, uh, you, you know, in 1978, that you were getting ready to have sex with someone with a BMI roughly... Uh, between 18 and 22. You know, going on there looking at this shit today, I, I don't know if I saw a BMI there uh, less than about fucking 26. Uh, you know, like right next to it. So I'm looking at the screen next to it. And, and, and there's some professional men's baseball game. So I'm, I'm, I'm assuming the men... Uh, in, in this uh, screen next to these girls were probably older. I was figuring probably most likely 25 to 35 year old men. You hardly saw a fat man uh, on either team. I'm, I'm looking, uh, you, you know, you didn't see these fucking rolls of adipose tissue, you know, overflowing uh, their little spandex bridges that showed every goddamn nook and cranny uh, on those girls. You know, I'm, I'm just looking at this shit, thinking, these poor dudes today, these poor college guys, uh, 18 to 22 year old guys, uh, no wonder uh, that, what, what was it? I guess that this this was in Japan. I think that NPR was talking about that something like 30% of Japanese guys uh, under the age of 30 would prefer a uh, whatever you would call her a, a, an AI bot girlfriend, basically a robo chick girlfriend, uh, to a to a real fucking woman. And that's in Japan, uh, where I'm, I'm assuming the BMI is a little bit less than over here. Uh, and I'm thinking to myself, my God, where do I have to go to see a, you know, a 22-year-old woman with a BMI less than a fucking 26? Well, the answer is you porn. Uh, like, fuck, it's like a... I have to go visit you porn just to see a goddamn woman, uh, just to see a young woman, uh, you know, who doesn't look like a, a fucking veal calf. Like, what the fuck? Where is this shit gonna end? You know?
now. Oh. I'm just recently ranting about that goddamn movie, you know, where the the young couple, the twenty-something young couple, were both a lot fatter than all of their parents uh, in their fifties and sixties. Uh, uh, God, we're we're such a nation, and more and more a goddamn planet uh, of fucking just cows. Uh, all of this talk about uh, fat. I'm wondering if there's an ice cream. Oh, you know the ice cream parlor I'm coming into. As a matter of fact, this is the one that got me in so much trouble last year when I was coming into this ice cream parlor uh, in Spencer, New York, and looking at all of these fat little fuckers, these little like eight and nine year olds uh, ordering these big fucking ice cream cones uh, with their parents, so just as fat as they are, just putting up with this shit. So I go up and order the goddamn kitty cone. So the 63 year old, uh, here we go, another summer begins. So I'm gonna go get me a 60, uh, 63 year old, I'm gonna go get the kitty cone while all these fucking little fat ass eight year olds are gonna be stuffing their fat little faces, you know, with about four times the goddamn calories that I'm getting ready to eat. And you wonder why there's a goddamn childhood obesity and diabetes epidemic in this goddamn country. Anyway, I better watch my driving. So, uh, get out there and enjoy uh, watching uh, the only fit young women you're going to find on YouPorn while uh, stuffing your own fat face with a triple decker ice cream cone. Bye guys.